How are you today? Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Marta. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for taking the time to talking with us and sharing your journey with Psyche. And um, let's start by sharing with those who are watching who you are in the Psyche world and how did you come, how did Psyche find you? <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, it found me a little over 10 years ago. So I do live in um, Michigan, United States at the time, um, married with four kids. And uh, a little over 10 years ago, uh, my husband was diagnosed with leukemia. And that uh, led me, yeah, um, that he was only 45 years old at the time. And at the time, a good friend of mine actually was near death and he died about five months after my husband was diagnosed. And my other friend that died listened to everything that the medical profession said to do. And he didn't listen to any of his own internal uh, guidance or intuition of what he felt he could do or should do. So it really drove me between that, my husband getting sick, and then my friend dying, uh, to really uh, go out and find, find uh, we have to find another way, because I just uh, didn't like how the, the doctors were treating him. There's just a lot of fear energy, and it was a lot very, oh, like they really thought I was gonna die, and he was like, this is so horrible, and mm. it was just a lot of, yeah, really dense emotions, I guess you would say. Um, I'm a, I was a nurse at the time, a birthing nurse, and, uh, you know, got a lot of the medical philosophies, you know, that I thought, you know, were, were good to listen to, which, is, which I respect. They do a lot of really good things, but I just knew we had to find our own path. So within that year of my husband uh, getting diagnosed, I uh, was led to read Bruce Lipton's book, Biology of Belief. And, and actually, it was a nursing friend of mine. It was right on my uh, desk at work. I worked mid midnights at the time, and it was sitting right there, and literally the book talked to me and said, you need to read me. <laughs> <laughs> and so I even borrowed the book. I didn't even buy the book, so I asked my friend if I could borrow her book, <laughs> and she let me. And then literally at the end of that book, I mean, literally I heard Bruce Lipton talk to me, say, you need to go learn Psyche. I mean, it really wow. jumped out at me. Yeah, and then within three months of that, uh, it was already uh, in the area of best Holstein is another instructor that she was mm -hmm. coming to Detroit, Michigan at the time, and uh, she was, happened to be teaching a workshop right at the time I was ready to learn it. So, uh, so that is how it found me. <laughs> yeah. And what do you do now in the psyche world? Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm very <laughs> blessed, that's for sure. <laughs> What do I do now? I uh, Psyche actually has led me to go be able to teach this, to go on to become an instructor, which I do. And I also offer private sessions for Psyche. So I um, help people use this amazing uh, tool and powerful way to help them transform themselves. <laughs> nice. So let's say that you were um, with friends, with family, and somebody says, okay, so I know you've joined this unusual thing that I haven't heard very much about it. What is Psyche? If somebody asks you this, what's your answer? Mm, what a great, great question. You know, a lot of people, it does depend on who you're with to, to, under, to help explain what this is. So if it was friends or family really, that, and, and that they are really ready to learn it and to understand. Because sometimes people will ask, hey, so what that is, but what is that? But then they're really, they really don't care. <laughs> I may answer, uh, you know, in a very broad way. If the ones really care to want to know what this is, you know, this is how I would say it. I said, well, actually, um, it is a way for you to go inside yourself and to work with your subconscious mind. And that's the part of you that actually runs about 95% of everything you do. And you actually, um, if there's something that's bothering you, blocking you, um, things you just don't like about what's going on with yourself or your life, you actually can change that um, in the programs that your subconscious has and then uh, begin to live in a new way. So that is what Psyche actually does. Um, kind of like a computer, when you upgrade that to get that working a lot better and easier, we actually can do that within our own mind or the computer of our mind and, um, and yeah, have new perceptions, see things in a new way, feel things in a new way, be in a new way. So. That's what Psyche is. It's a, it's a way that you can do that for yourself. Okay. And you just said something, well, if, if they're really ready, who is, who is Psyche for? 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the ones that have the willingness and the courage that are really ready to change things in their life or change things about themselves. Mm -hmm. So exactly. So it is the ones that like for me, I had said uh, enough. I did not like the way that my husband was being handled. And, and I and I felt him giving all his power away and listening to everybody else. So that really drove something in me. So I knew I needed to, um, I needed to find a way that I could help him, even though I would, didn't know I needed to help myself. <laughs> so sometimes people come find it. It's, it's like me, I kind of came it through the back door, you know, where I, I was so blocked by my own um, hurt and uh, I was taught to be a tough Marine here. My dad was a Marine. So I was really taught to just be tough and to handle everything and to, to be selfless, not think of myself and think of everybody else. So I went to go help, help my husband or help somebody else. What I love most is when people actually come to help themselves because that to me is everything. I didn't even know enough, but I it still works even for people like me because <laughs> uh, once I did learn psyche, my husband wanted nothing to do with it. He's like, get away from me. You know, I don't know what you're doing because it isn't for other people. It's actually for yourself. And uh, I began to work with myself. And that is who this is for, is with the ones that have the willingness and courage to, uh, to stand in their own personal power and say, yeah, you know what? I, I'm going to find out about this thing about the subconscious mind and, you know, see if it can really, uh, if, if that is how we are, are made and that we can actually learn how to use it for our good instead of just mm -hmm. what are all the conditions that we were put on us and believe in everyone mm -hmm. else's stuff. How about I believe what I want to believe? Mm -hmm. That's who this is for. It's the ones that are, are have woken up enough to say, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm ready to start living the life the way I'm choosing to want to live it for myself, for the good of myself and the good for all. This needs to be a good for all thing too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, this is for people not that are so self-driven for their own personal way but there's something about them too that does care about others too there's a little there has to be a little bit of that in there too okay nice there's so many different modalities right now in in the u.s in the whole world if somebody asks you well should i go to those others or why why psyche why is that different what would be the key ideas why psyche is different from all those other possibilities right now yeah wow it's a beautiful question yeah if someone did ask that i would definitely give it back to them say you it's important that 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 person finds out what's important for them so we do want to honor all ways that people uh, find that can help themselves especially during these times um if they want to try and compare us to anything else i say good luck with that <laughs> you can't even really compare it there's uh <laughs> there and i don't even call it a modality it's a way it is a way it is a way for you to remember who you are to go in and to open your heart center again and to start um identifying the things that you're ready to change within you so uh yeah when people ask that it, it, they may still be in a question of they're trying to listen to somebody else tell them what they should do and i would say no they need to go in and figure out for them what's important for them to learn next. And if, if Psyche is calling them, it's probably a good reason that it is. It's a gentle call. And we get to choose. It's an invitation. We get to choose if, yeah, we want to go learn it. So it would be uh, wise to listen to it and come and, uh, yeah, and ask themselves, are they ready and willing to go in and uh, be able to do their, take the responsibility to do their own personal work? for themselves. The answers are in them. They have all the answers. And are they willing to do that? Yeah. Yeah. It, it does require that courage to yeah. move from being the victim to taking that responsibility. That's not yeah. that, that's not everybody. Not yet. Right, right. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So part of the reasons why we're doing these interviews is to uh, make this visible for those who are ready. So can you share where you teach? Oh, yeah, thank you. I uh, mostly teach in the United States because I do live in the U.S. Uh, so um, Michigan, I'm in the Metro Detroit area. I do teach there. I have I'm also go, I go wherever um, my spirit moves me and wherever I'm asked to go. 
Uh, my kids are older now, which is nice. And so I am also teaching this year. Hopefully, if we can get together again <laughs> uh, in the coming months, exactly, in uh, Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll be, yeah, exactly. I um, will be um, teaching in France and in Israel in July with Sabine. Nice. Uh, Sabine is a Belgium instructor, and we love to teach together. So we uh, will be going to France and Israel. Mm -hmm. So uh, just the, yeah, we, I'm sure we'll talk at the end, but going to the Psyche K website is the um, Psyche K.com website is the best way to find. You know, yeah, um, and we'll be sharing your, your information as well so people can find it directly. With yeah. Also, those yeah. Who yeah. resonate with us. We each attract different kinds of people too. Yes, absolutely. I am ready for people that are ready to, um, Step into the fifth dimension is what I'd like to say. I mean, we're, I don't mess around. So anyone that wants to come learn with me, you're ready to fly. Welcome. Because I, I'm very raw. I'm very real. I've been through a lot in my own personal life. Uh, a lot of hurts, a lot of, yeah, from, you yeah, know, all kinds of atrocities, I guess you'd say, or abuses and things pretty crappy. And, uh, yeah, and, be, and if I know I, I can actually heal and transform and shift and, resonate and raise myself and um, I offer that for anyone else that is ready to do the same. They come exactly energetically with uh, who's best for them to learn with. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. We will. Of course, since this is tailor-made to each individual, what we share will be able to adapt to each person's history. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so Mary, let's uh, fast forward. 50 years. Somebody's mm -hmm. talking about Mary Mazur and saying, oh, she was remembered by. What would they say? What's your legacy? What, what do you want your legacy to be? Mm, yeah. Ah, great question. <laughs> yeah, somebody asked me love... that in an interview and I find it beautiful. So that's, mm -hmm. that's why. Yeah, that was beautiful. You know what? Um, I'm actually, there's something about me that just knows I'll be invisible here. And I really, I um, admire that. So I don't, I don't, it doesn't matter if anyone ever remembers my name or who I am, but what I would love is that they will, um, everyone that I have um, touched and influenced and ignited, that they will know that they are, have woken up to who their true essence is, is divine uh, heart center, uh, precious being that's choosing to have a human experience so um, if I can re remember to possibly be one of their igniters or catalysts at, at, at a critical time in their lives um, I know I've done my work here yeah <laughs> lovely so and you already mentioned also that you do as well as workshops you do private sessions and we're going to be sharing in the description of the video how to get in touch with you and we just want to thank you for taking this short time to share this huge work that you do and for all those who are ready. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Have a beautiful day. What a blessing. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Uh -huh. Bye -bye. I'll let you get back to your beautiful family for today. Okay. Sounds great. Bye-bye.